lovelies how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel my name is Nisha and I review fragrances today I want to come at you with a new video I want it it's bridal season right it's getting warm it's springtime it's almost summer and all the brides want to come out in their glory so even though it's COVID listen people are still getting married they're tired of waiting it's been a year please let's move on with our lives so a lot of people are getting married and these are the fragrances that I chose for a bride. Or these are the fragrances that I would choose for myself if I was getting remarried. No, no, I'm not, okay? Remarried in the sense like, not remarried, maybe renew my vows. <laughs> I'm quite contented, okay? Anyway, so these are the fragrances that I chose. If you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. The first one I chose is Idola by Navitas Perfumes. This is a collaboration with Big Big Business. Everybody knows about it. If you don't know about it, you need to come out from under your rock, okay? <laughs> this is Idola. This is the most feminine, the most prettiest fragrance. This is so perfect for a bride. Guys, this is really, really beautiful. This he made for his wife, and I think that's so romantic and so beautiful. So I think this would be perfect on a bride. This has some fresh notes. It has um, Italian orange. It has bergamot. It has French rose. It has Bulgarian rose. It has some jasmine and peach. Guys, in the base, it has vanilla, patchouli, a little bit of cedar, and some vetiver. This is so, so beautiful. This would make an excellent fragrance for a bride. So that's Idola by Big Bad Business. Up next on the list, we have the beautiful Creed Aventus for her. Okay, this has to be on the list, okay? Guys, this is a powerhouse. This has a very unique smell. It's quite different. People wouldn't know what you're wearing. They'd be like, what is she wearing? Unless you're familiar with this scent. This lasts a very long time in your skin. Projection, sillage for days. They will smell you coming down that aisle, trust me. And they'll be like, that so you want to smell rich and sophisticated and different i choose creed aventus for her now this has fresh it has a freshness and a brightness it has green apple bergamot it has lemon it has patchouli guys it has rose sandalwood and the base it has black currant it has some peach amber and some other notes okay it's a lot of stuff but guys this right here is one of my fragrances for life. I love this and I have a backup bottle, okay? I am plain. I absolutely love my Creed, okay? So this is number two. And guys, it's not going in any particular order, okay? It's just what I have, I'm just pulling it out. Okay? Next, we have Initio Atomic Rose. And this is atomic. Guys, this is a beautiful rose. Now, yes, it does smell very familiar to Delina not gonna lie but it doesn't have that sour rhubarb uh, note guys oh my goodness this is atomic in sillage longevity and projection brides you don't have to worry about touching up you don't have to worry about anything you just put this on and go about your merry way okay you'll be dancing the night away when that body heats up you'll be pushing out that beautiful scent. Everybody will be like getting a whiplash, okay? This is lovely. So if you don't want Delina, which is gorgeous, you can try Atomic Rose. She is phenomenal. It has two different types of rose in this. This has vanilla. It has amber. Guys, you really need to try this. This is a stunner. So this is Initio Atomic Rose. Up next, we have this beautiful lady. She is not too loud. She just sits there quietly, but you know she's there. She don't jump out and be like, hey, I'm here. No, she's not one of those. She just sits quietly, but everybody's looking to see who she is because she's stunning. Now guys, not everybody wants to smell like roses, okay? I know there's a common theme with brides love to smell like roses. They love to smell girly. They want to smell pretty, but some, some reason or the other, roses are like the main note a lot of women do not like roses okay and for those ladies who do not like roses i would choose andromeda she longevity sillage very very good 
You don't have to worry about that. She's not one of those loud, obnoxious fragrances. You can smell her, you know she's there, but she's subtle at the same time. She's very classy. This, I would say, is a, a signature scent worthy fragrance. This has Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, Pitch uh, Bergamot. It has peach. Peach is very prominent. It has pear, it has lily. And lots of other notes. In the base, there is some cashmere wood, tonka bean, vanilla. Guys, oh my God, this is such a beautiful, girly, dainty fragrance. I absolutely love her. And for those ladies who don't, do not like rose, try this one as your bridal scent. I think you would really, really love it. So this is for the ladies who want to get married maybe in the winter, fall months. Now, I would rub this even in the summer because I love this so much. And guys, this is none other than Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Guys, you know how much I love this. This captured my heart. This is so dark and deep and rich and sensual and sexy. This is a mysterious fragrance. This right here has the rose and everything, but guys, it's dark and rich. So this would make an excellent, excellent wedding scent for the cooler months, okay? So that's Noir de Noir by Tom Ford the fragrance you want to step out of the box you don't want to smell like any bride you don't want to smell girly and feminine and not that this is masculine don't get me wrong but you want to smell different you want to be turning heads when you're walking on that aisle Annie okay Annie she don't play monstrous sillage and longevity you have to wash this off your skin this Put it on and forget about it. You will smell sexy. You will smell alluring. Y'all, the groom would be like, damn girl. Guys, this has a burst of ginger to the top, which makes it so unique. It has bergamot, it has pink pepper, it has black currant, it has a little bit of cardamom. Base is, boom, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, cedar. Oh, so, so good. Guys. You need to try Annie, okay? Brides, you want to smell different? You rock this baby here. You don't need to touch up nothing. She's good. You just spray her on and move it, okay? Uh, Nishani Annie, a stunner and compliment getter. You will be getting compliments. People will come when they come to hug you and congratulate you. Be like, girl, what are you wearing? You smell amazing. Yes, they will. Other one up on the list, I have... I have had this in my collection for a very long time. This to me screams sophisticated. This screams classy and elegant, okay? And this is Chanel Chance. This is the original Chance, okay? Not the flankers. Guys, this is another one does not lack in the department of longevity and sillage. She's powerful, she's classy. This is a perfect, perfect wedding scent in my opinion. This, it's very, it's very, um musky it has a little it's a little bit woody it has patchouli in this it's a little bit powdery because it has iris guys oh my god it's so so sophisticated and classy and rich so this to me would make a beautiful bridal scent so that's chanel chance by chanel Do. this other one is very new to my collection i just just got this fragrance well while i'm recording this i don't know when this will be aired okay so <laughs> i did a complete video on this and it's none other than kiali sweet diamond this would make a perfect bridal scent because you get a blast it's spicy it's a spicy rose so you get a blast of whew, pink pepper you get saffron that gives it a little bit of depth you get different types of rose but it's a dark rich intoxicating rose it has patchouli it has sandalwood and it's sweet so you get all that guys this is very alluring your groom will want to eat you up <laughs> this is very sensual in my opinion and i think it will make an amazing bridal fragrance and longevity phenomenal so you don't have to worry about this because this is uh intense version this is the x-straight i think it's called i don't know what it's called but it's the intense okay guys she is beautiful this would make an excellent excellent bridal choice so that's kiali sweet diamond of course this had to be on the list who wouldn't want to smell like this 
This is 540 by Mason Francisco Chan, guys. This is a phenomenal fragrance. Yes, everybody knows about this. I don't need to go into details about this. And I'm talking about the original. There's like a million and one do for this. But for your wedding, you want the original because there's nothing like the original, okay? This is beast, beast, beast. I know people don't like to say beast, but guys, this thing don't play, okay? You would be passing and people would be getting wasps of you. You would be like filling up the room with this fragrance. Guys, it's so, so good. That saffron, the burnt sugar vibe, it's sweet, it's pretty. This is a unisex fragrance, but guys, this is so, so good. People try to dupe this, but you know what? There's nothing like the original. And this on a bride will be amazing. So guys, 540, Baccarat Rouge 540. Check. Trying to do this video without without putting this on the list, but I wouldn't be true to myself, no. Because if I had to renew my vows, I would want to wear this. If I was a guest at a wedding, I'll want to wear this. I just want to wear this, because she's so pretty. And I know, I know, everybody's tired of talking about her, but listen, in my opinion, she can do no wrong, okay? She is so beautiful. She is Delena. I tried not to put it, but I wouldn't be true to myself, guys. Delena is such a phenomenal fragrance. She is breathtaking. She is loud. She is feminine. She is, oh, she has this, like a sourness, the, the rhubarb and the lychee. I love lychee. I love me some lychee, but that rhubarb and that lychee and it has bergamot, it has rose, it has puny, musk, cedar, a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. But guys, she is such a, she is the epitome of bride. She is a bride. She is the queen. I know a lot of people don't like her, but hey, this is my list, okay? This is my list. <laughs> Even the exclusive, I don't own the exclusive or else I'll put it up, I'll, I'll put a picture right here. I'll hold my hands and be like, exclusive. <laughs> yeah, I have a decant of it, but I will get it eventually because I absolutely love Delena. She is stunning and I try not to put her, but as I said, I wouldn't be true to myself. So guys, Delena, an excellent, excellent wedding fragrance. You will get compliments. You will be turning heads and you don't have to worry about touching up because you put her on and you're good to go. So yes, that's Delena. She's the last. We saved the best for last, okay? Guys, these are the fragrances I would choose for a bride or for myself as a bride. I absolutely love these fragrances and I think they would work so beautifully. So guys, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say this at the end of my videos. So please subscribe. I know a bunch of you look at my videos which i'm thankful for but please subscribe it doesn't cost you anything just a little tick, and, and that's it it helps me out it helps my channel grow and it makes me visible right so people could look up stuff and be like hey that spicy looks just check her out okay so i want my channel to grow guys i really really enjoy doing youtube videos it makes me happy it's my little happy please it's my hobby please support my channel by liking and subscribing and sharing and until next video, guys, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.